Good. Our next trick is the difference between shake hands and high five and wave. So if your dog does not shake hands, and actually he doesn't really shake hands, we went right to high five with him. So sit, you can get him to sit in front of you. But if your dog does not know a shake hands, you can put a treat in your hand and just hold it low. Sit and wait for them to let me see if he paws at it or lifts his paw at all. Good boy. So once he does that and lifts his paw, I'm going to click that paw lift. Good boy. Get it. Get it. Good boy. So as soon as he lifts the paw, we click that. Now it would be nice if he was in a sit. That would uh, make it easier. But for right now, we're just marking that palm. Sit up. Good. Get it. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Ready? Get it. Good boy. So he's already figured out that the paw has something to do with it. So now I can just put my fist out there and kind of hold his paw a little bit. You can get it. Good boy. And then I hold his paw, so we do a little shake. And he could sit or he can stand. It looks like he can do it standing. Ready? Oops. Shake. Good boy. Good boy. And I put the word with it. And he catches on to this stuff pretty quickly, so he's ready. Shake. Oops. Shake. Good boy. Good boy. He's a little excited. Sit. He's a little excited, don't you? Yeah. Good boy. Ready? Oh. Wait. Shake. Good boy. Good job. So that's our shake hands. His, his, his uh, paws about parallel. Shake. Good boy. Good job. You could do both hands and both paws if you wanted to. He tends to be one-sided. He likes to do one side. Shake. Good boy. So now, he's got, once he's got the shake, you can um, make it a high, turn it into a high five. Get out of there. Come on. Over here. Good boy. Sit. Good boy. Sit. Good job. So now we're going to put the hand out like we're going to do a shake, but then as soon as he, um, when he puts his paw, I'm going to raise my hand higher so he has to raise his paw higher. Ready? Boy. So he's got to take his paw up a little higher. And we're clicking the higher motion. We're not clicking parallel. We're get your feet out of there. That's naughty. Sit. High five. Good boy. And he knows this, so he he's, uh, likes to play this game. Ready? Sit. High five. Good boy. And so now we're just looking for a slap, really. I'm not trying to hold the paw because that's the shake. Sit. High five. Good boy. Oh, right. That was ten. I didn't want ten. I only wanted five. Ooh, we don't have much left. Sit. Mm. Lex jumped the gun too. Watching. High five. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You could teach a high ten if you wanted to. Both both uh, hands. I don't want to do that with him. Um, he's too pawy enough and likes to paw at people, so I, I definitely don't want to encourage double paws. But your dog, you might be um, a little calmer and might be able to do it. Sit. And then finally, to get the wave, we're gonna. Instead of actually letting him touch the paw, our hand, we're going to pull our hand away really quick. So that's how we get the wave. Ready? Good. And then we just click the paw really high up. And that's how we get our wave. So then we, our dog will know all three. They'll know shake, high five, and wave. Ready? And then your cue can actually be a wave. Sit. <coughs> wave. Wait. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Mm. Oh. Oh. Good boy. <laughs> so he likes to throw his paws around. So we gotta wait. He's gotta learn to wait and figure out what I'm actually gonna ask for before guessing. Sit. Ready? Sit. Shake. Good boy. Good boy. Sit. Wait. High five. Good boy. Sit. Good. So then he puts the paw way up there. So there you have three new tricks, three in one, a shake, a high five, and a wave. Can you wave to the camera? Can you wave? Good boy. Good job. That's a good boy. That's a very good boy. Yay.